could you describe a recent situation where you felt that uh, your leadership team or your client's leadership team could have benefited from additional training or guidance in culture building, leadership, or both? I think that's that's uh, that's something which was a long time ago where we I'm just I'm, I'm just thinking about what what situation should I should I just take huh? um because there are if you're looking at at cultural leadership and I was I was I was working for for an international company um and we had several different different cultures within the company actually and um i think it, at that time there was a kind of a clash of culture between the the uh the diff, the, the, the cultures which were um uh, from these different different countries that we that we had in our organization mm -hmm. and we could have actually benefited from trying to at least get a, a a certain basic level of understanding so that the 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 the, the communication would improve and i think it's it was not on the on the wording of the people what they do but that that you have like a common value of what what you what you understand so that you can actually create from this together a a um a better company in the end and a better organization it's um it ended up badly actually because we did not have that and um it was um something that could have actually benefited if we would have like i don't know if it's if it's like a it would be a teaching of culture but that you get something like a way to agree on the company type of values and that you you share this from ceo until um every level of the company mm -hmm. right okay i don't know if that's the, that's the direction that you actually was thinking in uh, because i i was just trying to what what situation would i would i actually did do and that's the, the 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 time that i think it went into a clash in the end it was not it was it was really um uh it didn't work out um and i think it could help actually if you make sure that you have everybody on the same line uh, right. when i when i had my own company i established actually a a um uh, several things to actually align the whole company and everybody on it to agree on certain certain parts but also to have like it is what i already mentioned before um a very clear feedback culture and it mm -hmm. i i did i made a lot of mistakes in there which if I hadn't have this 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 feedback coach, or I, I wouldn't have established that, it would not have worked out. Yeah, absolutely. And so, it, it, if you if you have like everybody on the on the same line and working in the same direction, um, and having the same, yeah, well, I, I, vision is 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 always the question. You need vision. Well, you need you need to have some some kind of values where you agree on and um that that you say okay well we are working for making this or doing that greatly um and if you're if someone is actually uh, having his own department as the 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 most important thing on on the world then that is not the in, in the interest of the of the of the of the, of the company in the end mm -hmm. and that should not be in the vision of of the of the leadership of the company to actually have a organization taking its own direction which is maybe not in line with the company's um right.